Okay, and here's the sport. Uh, right out of the gate, you see something majorly different, and that is that we lose the guards on the front. Uh, there is protection through 3M field on the front, but it's not uh, the same caliber of protection that that guard gives uh, that we get when we go to the cloud. So we'll come around here real quick, just kind of back up so you can see this. Hard to get a good shot with all this sun. We go to a plastic ABS cover instead of the aluminum. This is a neat way to look at these things side by side. We lose the, the storage box that we get with the, this is the battery storage, and we lose that when we go over to the cloud. So you, you gain better battery storage. And of course you said, well geez, price, weight, well, single axle, obviously going to be a little bit lighter. Might even see a smaller fridge inside. Look back here and look at your cloud. No bumper on the back of the, of the Bambi system. Look at the glass difference. Uh, just a slew of differences between the flying cloud and the, and the single axle Bambi system. Okay, walking into the travel trailer, you can immediately see that it's a much more dimly lit trailer with all the um, with all the glass not in it. Now we're going to go to a very efficient, cute little two burner stove. A lot of price difference, forty three thousand dollars till the weekend here, forty four. Our sink, of course, substantially different on the on the sport. Very nice. Our super twin bed, not a full queen. A little bit lighter in the storage. Remember, we're doing all incandescent lighting. We're not doing any LED lighting in this trailer. But for 22 feet, this trailer offers an abundance of stuff. A fabulous dinette that has a wonderful stability stand that collapses down into the into the bed position. So if you do have a guest, and shelving, that you, it's kind of hard to see uh, with the naked eye. Let's see if I can get a picture of that. Uh, you've got some extra storage options, separation panel, and of course a privacy curtain and skylight. To, see when I bring that across. Airstream does a wonderful job, more so than any manufacturer. These escape windows are just huge. I see so many of them that are just tiny. I try to think about the average person when they have to get out. This is all the under the cabinet storage that we can come up with. And yes, there's a drawer for your silverware. So lots of storage down there for pots, pans, dishes, and whatnot. And then underneath the microwave, this is a convection microwave. Nice cuisine art, stainless steel, and a little bit more storage underneath. There is storage underneath the bed, like we talked about. A three-way refrigerator it is a little bit smaller than what the cloud's going to see. So if a larger refrigerator is what you need, you may have to consider that. Nice flat screen TV. And our overhead cabinetry above the galley. Walking back through, coming into the entry again. you got to have room for clothes. Everybody takes their stuff. And then our full bath in the back. Just like the other one. With that shower, still, still use all the great hardware. There's that mirror, same bath. More storage room in the sink, and of course your potty, put in room to do your paperwork. So like I said, the, the 16, or excuse me, the 22 sport is gonna be a 
quick video. Just give you one last look around here. Now one of the animals that's duly noted is that the air conditioner in this model is controlled at the AC itself. It's not controlled on a wall thermostat. So hope this helps and we hope to see you soon. Have a great day.